Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here Friday afternoon Getting it done uh, Today uh, I'm doing biceps triceps and shoulders. Yes, my routine is a little wonky this week because I changed things up If you kept up with my channel and I'm sure you did You see that I've changed things up a little bit this week and I'm probably gonna do it uh, next week as well because I found it pretty interesting and uh, different Seven, enough that I enjoyed it. Eight, so right here we're doing the old standard nine, straight bar curls. We're ten, warming up that bar there is, 11, oh, that bar is 34 pounds. 12, it's a six foot bar and it is 34 pounds. I got the collars on there, little spring collars, just to make sure we're right at that weight. And uh, going up here to 54. 54 pounds guys a whopping 54 pounds and yes I uh, I'm doing pretty good there I think I'm doing okay my form is what it is it's how I do my curls uh, I don't know I could I could hold a bar that put 500 pounds on it and my arms would still have a little bit of a bend I don't know I think I'm like CP3 uh, C3PO or something uh, maybe I need some oil on my elbows Get them to go all the way down like everybody wants me to do. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to go up too awful heavy on the main sets. I am going to do a little something extra. A little, 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 little something extra, guys. And uh, it's going to be a good, uh, good surprise. Uh, yeah, if it's a surprise, I guess. So, uh, yeah, so we got, what do we got there? Is that 94 now? I don't even know at this point. We got two tens and two fives, and the bar is 34. So that, I don't know, that's about five, six hundred pounds right there, it looks like to me. That's what it feels like. So, uh, yeah, anyway, hey, today is my one month anniversary on my drums. I had them delivered on uh, the 7th of June, and uh, I've been enjoying them every day since. I'm not 100% happy with everything, but things are going to get better, I'm sure. You know, whenever you uh, you buy a drum kit, and especially your first time, uh, people warn you, you know, the cymbals are going to not be great. And, you know, you're going to want to switch things out. And, well, that's the truth. I've already bought a new crash cymbal, and I've bought uh, my youngest boy bought me on Father's Day uh, new hi-hats. And even those, even the new cymbal and the new hi-hats are not exactly what I'm looking for. It's hard to find that sound you're looking for uh, unless you can just test drive everything. Now, I did test drive the, the crash cymbal and I, I opted for it. I went ahead and went for it and it wasn't exactly what I wanted. But the one that I wanted more than that one cost like $100 more or so. So, yeah, cymbals are the most uh, expensive thing you're going to purchase. And I'll probably end up with about 50 of them before I find what I want. So, yeah, that's just a word of caution to you out there that are looking for a uh, drum kit and kind of getting your toes wet. Ooh, look at that. We're doing a cheek curl, guys. Cheek curl alert! Cheek curl alert! That is a lot of weight there, guys, for me. That right there is really something else. That was 154 pounds, guys. 154 pounds. Now what we're doing here is what I call Smith Machine Skull Crushers. Now for me, a skull crusher is anything from the chin to the back of the head. Uh, and uh, I like doing them on the Smith Machine because it allows complete control over the weights. You don't have to worry about nothing. And uh, I can keep the weight from literally crushing my head because I got the safeties sat on the Smith machine there as you can tell. I could literally let go of the bar and there would be a couple inches from my head there. And uh, But I I swear by these and I also swear by uh, close grip bench pressing. You can do free weight or Smith or whatever. But, uh, those two movements I do believe work the triceps out tremendously. And uh, we're going to climb up the ladder here as usual like we do. And uh, this is the this is the exercise here that I'm going to do a little extra something and uh, go above and beyond the call of duty, not the game, but.
but uh, yeah. So working the way up here, doing good. It was a good day, good workout, really. Uh, I had a pretty good week. The whole week went pretty well, uh, from bench pressing to deadlifts to the squats, everything felt pretty good. I didn't break any real records or anything, but but I did uh, I did make myself pretty happy, and uh, I think that's all we can ask for whenever we hit the gym or really anything we do. Just make yourself happy. Do the best you can. Every day's not going to be a million bucks, but uh, we can uh, hope for that another day. And I thought I'd get a little different angle here. See how my elbows are out there and my hands are bending back. That's what separates a skull crusher from a flat bench, uh, close grip bench press. Uh, you don't bend quite so far like that, that exaggerated, uh, whenever you're doing a close grip bench press. A skull crusher, you want to really bend right there and uh, really work them triceps out. So we're going up here. This right here is 157 pounds. That's right, boys and girls, the, the, the bar and the carriage there it's attached to weighs 57 pounds. And uh, so we got 157 there. I cut it off right there. I might have done another rep. Or, or 20. And uh, right here we are at 177. Those are tens on the ends there. And I uh, felt pretty good. I felt pretty confident once I got going here. can see did pretty good there and now this is where the extra comes in I did an extra set here that's 197 pounds we got two tens two 25s and the bar is 57 so you can add all that up and that should be 197 pounds and I was surprised at how light that felt I thought wow man I should have went ahead and went for four or five reps yeah I struggled there but it's because I, I'd already set my mind like, hey, I'm going to stop here. So that has a lot to do with it. And here I decided for my shoulders, I'm going to do Smith Machine shoulder pressing. I don't usually do these on the Smith Machine on the front. I usually uh, do behind the neck presses on the Smith. But I thought, well, let's, let's go ahead and use the Smith Machine today. Some use out of it. And uh, I can tell you right now that that right there is not something my shoulder is enjoying. Uh, those of you that follow my channel know I got a really bad shoulder. It's a soft tissue thing. I believe if I had somebody just step on my shoulder and rub it around and roll it around, it'd probably break up some some of the scar tissue off in there. And it it, it did feel good for a while, but it's kind of coming back and messing with me. But uh. It's all right. What we're sticking, what we're going to stick with here for most of our reps here is, uh, what is that, 107 pounds. The bar, like I said, is 57, and that goes, that's 50 pounds worth of plates on there. So we've got 107 pounds going on. I'm not going to give it away, but I might go up a smidgen bit on my last set, but you didn't hear it from me, folks. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe you did. So, uh, what do we got? Oh my god. Look at that. What an amazing, amazing set of hair. I'm, I'm trying to enjoy it before it all falls out. So, uh, feeling pretty pumped here. I'm trying to really explode up on that and uh, stretch that arm out a little bit, that shoulder, and just get it up in there. And I'm not happy, guys. I'm not happy I'm hurting again, but yeah, such is life. Ooh, look at that. Aren't they cute? Look at those little teeny tiny symbols. Oh, my, my, my. Where am I headed? I don't know. I'm crazy. All right. We're going to hit another set here, guys, of the 107 pounds. And uh, I'm really feeling it. Feeling it in the old shoulder, and you can tell because, well, I didn't do 10 reps on those. What do we got here? Oh, I'm pointing to him right there, buddy. We got 147 pounds again. The bar is 57 pounds, and those are 45s on each end. I thought, well, I'll go ahead and end this with one set, just a low rep, and uh, we'll uh, we'll suffer through it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
And I hope I inspired you to do something today, including rock out just a little bit. You know, I gotta rock out a little bit. Well, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. And don't forget to get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And good lord, what was I doing? There's the workout, guys. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time on the body beat down. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it!